Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over lists in Python. Lists are very simple and they are very similar to arrays in other programming languages. That's probably what you'll know them by if you come from Java, C, C++, or pretty much anything else. Um, as far as I know, Python is the only one that calls them lists. I mean, I may be wrong. Uh, I don't know a lot about Perl or Ruby. And I don't even know that much about like the other things such as basic, but I'm pretty confident that those are probably arrays as well. Anyway, anyways, let's get right into this. To create a list is very simple. And what a list does is it contains multiple variables under one name. Or multiple values under one variable. That's probably the better way to explain it. Now these can be of any different type. You can have strings, integers, doubles, <coughs> excuse me, floats and any other type that or any other data type that you define inside of a, an array or a list as they're called in Python. But the best thing to do with lists is to keep them one type. Especially if you come from another language you'll see the benefits of that. You don't want to make a list that has multiple data types and try and access one specific one. It's better just to have multiple uh, data type or multiple lists for multiple data types instead of trying to pull out certain pieces of uh, data from one array or one list. My bad. So how do we create a list? Very simple. We're going to start out by typing my list equals left bracket. Now this left square bracket is very 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 important. Not just in lists but later on when we're not defining it when we're actually pulling information out of it you're going to need these square uh, brackets. It's important to remember about like how you use these because they will come up when we go over tuples and dictionaries later on. Now in here we can make a list of let's say sodas. So we'll have Pepsi, uh, Coke, root beer, Sprite, and just throw in some grape soda. Why not? All right, so now we have a list that contains five different types of soda. Pepsi, Coke, root beer, Sprite, and grape. If we wanted to pull one out, what we would do is call the variable my list, and then index the value that we want to pull out. Now, the important thing to remember with any computer is that they start counting at zero because of binary, essentially. Um, I won't explain to you how binary works, but basically, computers start counting at zero. There are ordinal and cardinal numbers, and cardinal numbers, you start at one. That's how most people count. Ordinal numbers are the order. And in computers, they start at zero. They use ordinal numbers. So my list, left bracket, zero, is actually equal to the first value in the list. So if we enter this in with, between these brackets, which by the way, these brackets are what tells us what index we're trying to pull from. If we put a zero in those brackets and press enter, we'll get Pepsi. Awesome, so we actually get the right value returned. So you can start to see how this is useful. We can hold a list of related items and then pull them out one by one. Now my rule earlier about not having different data types in one list kind of is because of that. They should be related. However, if you have strings and integers that are related somehow, then feel free to put them in the same list. It's just not very good coding technique. People will look at you weird and be like, why did you do that? You, you should go back to not programming. Anyways, so, awesome. But what else is there? Well, we also have negative numbers. We can basically index any of any one of these. And because they start at zero, we know that this is zero, this is one, two, three, and four. But what if we wanted to count the last one? What if we have a list that has like 115 things, or maybe it's user defined, so we don't know how much is ever going to be in it, but we do know that we want to pull the last thing out. Well, what we do is we use negative numbers. Negative 1 corresponds to the last uh, value. The reason we don't use negative 0 is probably the most logical thing about of like 
indexing lists, and that is that negative zero is equal to zero, and I'll actually show you that because Python works that way. Zero is zero, and negative zero is also zero. You can't have a positive or a negative zero. So when you have to index a list backwards, you have to use a negative number, like negative one, which will then give us grape. And it does. Awesome. Now, there are a couple more things with lists. Um, I will show you some other things in the next tutorial about the list data type, but specifically with just using lists like this in a very basic manner, there's one other thing. There's splicing lists, um, which is actually pretty cool. And what you would do is say my list, left bracket, and then where you want to start in the list, we'll say two, or we'll say one, and then where you want it to stop at. So let's say we want to say everything from Coke to Sprite, but we don't want to say grape. Then what we would do is say one colon four, or one to four. Um, make sure I spelt list right. That would have been bad. And we get Coke, Root Beer, Sprite. That's what happens. Awesome. Well, what happens if we print that out? Because it looks like it's still a list. Well, it is a list, but should we print it out, that is what we get. If you want to pull things out, you have to use some other methods, which we'll also go over later when I was talking about string uh, list methods. But that's something else to remember, is that unless you're pulling out a specific value, it will, list, it will put them in brackets like a list. And right before I go, I will let you guys know that my list colon, or left bracket colon, right bracket, will just give you the whole list, and my list one colon will just give you everything from the first index to the end. And you can even do my list left colon four, and it'll do everything up to four. And that's essentially the very basics of lists. Now, like I said in the next tutorial, we'll be going over lists as a data type uh, more in depth. And I know this was kind of long, we're going into seven minutes, so I'm going to end this real soon. Uh, but yeah, next tutorial we'll go a little bit more in depth than this, and hopefully you guys will get a better understanding. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments or criticisms or anything like that, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see future videos, please subscribe. All of that will help me, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.